In this episode of Craft Singles, I could not be more proud than to interview Mr. Eric Watson, Chief Deputy for Charleston County Sheriff's Office. Eric's been in law enforcement for over 24 years. In his 24 years, he's seen law enforcement change a great deal. So we're gonna talk about where Eric's been, where he is now, and where they wanna go. Let's go interview Eric. In 24 years, you've seen uh, law enforcement change for the better, for sure. Now, how is it when you see that one officer just getting from the academy and he's coming in, how do you take someone under your wing and you, you teach them? How do you, how do you do that? Well, that's well, just, just like when I first started 24 years, 24 years ago. Um, you're, you're excited, you'll go out there and, and uh, and arrest you know all the bad guys and you want to make a difference. You make a difference. Uh, no longer can we we take that scatter gun approach, whereas we we think everyone uh, are, are bad people. You know we, we no longer can do that. So as a new recruit, we come in. We we make sure that in the forefront of mind, we mission first, but the community always. We 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 preach and we we enforce. Say hey, we're here to serve and protect the community. You know, um, so you have to understand that that concept. Yeah, you'll come across some, some situations where you have to make an arrest or there's some bad guys out there, but not everyone uh, in Charleston County or you know or surrounding areas are bad. For the most part, they're great people. Understand they have problems just like you and I. Um, you sit down and talk with them. Maybe you can work something out instead of arresting them. Um, and I'm talking like a misdemeanor or something like that. But so when we have when we hire new recruits. Uh, one of our main purpose doing orientation is to is to make sure we reinforce their purpose here, our mission. Understand that community is always first. Who, who's a mentor for you when it comes to law enforcement? Well, Sheriff Cannon. I, I'm gonna tell you, Sheriff Cannon. Like I told you before, you know, he has been a great resource, and I, I pick his brain uh, on a lot of different topics. Um, he's a well-rounded. Uh, a leader. Uh, he's, he's a great leader. Um, he's exposed me to a lot of things. Um, I went to the FBI National Academy uh, back in 2014. Um, with, with that, came back and so that put me on a different level in terms of understanding criminal justice in the, from a broader global perspective. Um, but so, but Sheriff Cannon, uh, he, he's a mentor. I think he will always be a mentor. And I, like I told him when I got promoted this year, I said, you know, pretty much you raised me, yeah. <laughs> I said, what, 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 what you mean? No, you raised me. Oh man. Yeah, I, I was I was working with you. Well, I was 23 years old. Yeah, 20. You said, I, I didn't. Yeah, you, you practically raised me. From a from a young kid trying to find his way uh, in, in life, trying to find his way in the career that that he's trying to understand. Um, he raised me. He, he placed me in positions where I can learn. Um, and take advantage of opportunities, and while at the same time to um, add my own style to it. Do, do you feel the same obligation to mentor someone else the same way uh, Sheriff Cannon mentored you? Yep, leadership flows downhill. He, he's a great leader, um, I look up to him, and so I, I carry, my, carry myself in the way he, he expects me to carry myself, um, be it in the community, off duty, in, in uniform, so when younger folks, younger supervisors who I supervise come to me and I make sure that I carry myself in the same way. Um, and, and I encourage them to, to want to do better things. If I'm a chief deputy, hey, try to go exceed what I've done. You know, um, don't look for average. Try to be above average. What are you most proud of as far as your accomplishments? Uh, uh, you know, that's, a, that's, a, that's a, a great question. I don't think one have ever asked me that, what I'm mostly proud of. You know, I just sit back and look at my life, you know, and, and we all have stories to tell. You know, we all, my story is not unique, uh, my, my take, than any other kid growing up downtown or in inner city uh, in, in the country. Um, making it for 24 years, law enforcement, uh, providing quality service uh, to a community that I love, uh, working for an organization that I admire, uh, leading, help leading the, the men and women in uniform on a daily basis, being able to go out there 
speak to, to kids uh, in the community. Uh, going out there and even though I made a number of arrests, still trying to work things out for the person who I arrested. Um, helping people is my accomplishment. That's, that's how I look at what I do. Um, I've never been in this business for, for money, obviously. You, you, you can't, you know, <laughs> you can't become a millionaire uh, being a cop. So I'm in the wrong profession for that. So I was never one of those guys that, that required a lot of material things, a lot of money to feel good about themselves. I don't, I don't need that, it's, it's temporary, you know. Um, those things are short, a short term to me. So I go out there and I enjoy doing what I do. I think you've done a fantastic job in what you've done in the community. I think you've served our community well. And I think your mentor should be so proud of all that he's helped instill within you and I can just tell you uh, looking from afar I can't help but be proud of what you and this department has accomplished so thank you for your time. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it.